Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As I'm sitting here editing, I've realized how much of a mess my hair looks. So we're going to pretend it looks absolutely fabulous and effortless. Okay. Let's move on. So today I'm going to be doing my October favorites for you guys. And today is actually Halloween. That's why I'm wearing an orange shirt and just, you know, casually eating candy. Yum. Um, I thought I would film my October favorites today since I'm not doing anything for Halloween. I think I've been to plenty of Halloween parties these past couple days. So <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm good. October has also been my birthday month, which has been great. But this month has also been very, like, off for me. I don't know why. I've just been kind of, like, meh in a slump who knows hopefully november will be much better but yeah i have some goodies to share with you guys that i've been loving in the month of october so if you want to know what it is then keep on watching <laughs> i'm gonna start off with my favorite fragrance this month this is nothing new i'm pretty sure i've talked about this before but i freaking love this so much i've been wearing it a lot this month this is the ysl black opium perfume i love this it's one of my absolute favorites it's like sweet and musky and it actually has coffee in it which is i think why I'm attracted to it so much. If you guys know me and coffee, you know. But it just smells amazing. Go smell this. It's just, ooh. Mm. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is some skincare. I'm trying skincare like all the time. Every day I'm trying to use something different because I just have so many products to go through. But that's not always a good thing because your skin doesn't always react great trying new things every day. You have to really stick to something for a while to really reap the benefits of the skincare you're using. So I told myself to stick to a routine for at least a couple weeks and really try not to use anything else. And I have been and I'm actually really, really happy because I found something that's working for my skin right now. And that is the Dermalogica, Dermalogica skincare. Um, I mean, they have like a million different products, but the ones that I'm using that I really like is first the clearing skin wash. This is really good. It's just like really gentle cleanser for your skin that doesn't like strip it and make it like really dry feeling. And it has a lot of really great things for breakout prone, like acne prone skin, which I guilty. I mean, I break out still all the time. So this is just, I don't know, it's really nice and it doesn't like clog your pores or anything like that. In fact, it helps with clogged pores. So loving that. And then I use the Daily Microfoliant. This is really cool because it's actually like a powder inside and it's rice based. Yes, there's rice in here and it activates with water. So you put a little bit in your palm of your hand, you add some water and it becomes like a paste and then it's like an exfoliator and it's actually amazing. It's very gentle but my skin is like baby bottom soft after, so I really like that. And then I use the Antioxidant Hydra Mist. This is like an age-defying product, which I like to mix in with like, you know, acne products. I still want something to keep my skin looking young as well. Um, so this is like a toner. I just spritz it on my face after I'm done cleansing, and then I back it up with the Active Moist Moisturizer, which is freaking amazing. I just really like this. Um, I don't know, it just helps the texture of your skin, keeps it hydrated, it's not oily, it's not greasy feeling, it's perfect. So that's my skincare right now. Once in a while I'll use like, you know, acne spot treatments, that's also from Dermalogical that I really like. But yeah, that's my current skincare system if you are wondering, and this is not paid or sponsored. They did send this to me to try, but I just really like it, so. Okay, so let's talk about some makeup. My foundation routine changes constantly. Like, I still have not found the perfect shade for me. I haven't found, like, the most perfect formula for my face. I do have some favorites that I really, really like, and one of them is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, but I hate the color selection. Oh, so much. Um, this foundation is great. I've talked about it before. Um, it's just... Really long wearing, it looks really really good, it does not come off your face for the rest of the night. It looks the way you put it when you first applied it and it's awesome. So I really like that it doesn't dry my skin out personally. If you are super super dry, eh, you're probably gonna look really you know, dry looking and cakey. But this foundation has been working so well for me. I really really like this, especially for events. But the color, oh, I hate the color so much. It's so dark, and then I try to mix it with the light color, and it becomes too pink, too orange. So, what I've been doing that actually has been working out really well, it's not like perfect, but it's been, it's been good. Um, I've been mixing it with this, and I've talked about this on my channel before. The Manic Panic Dream Tone Vegan Flawless Foundation and Color Corrector. It's literally a pure white product. You can wear it by itself or you can mix it with anything that you want. 
foundations, whatever. I've been mixing this with my foundation lately and I really, really like it. I have used this with other foundations, but because I love this one so much and I really want it to work, these have been making it work a lot better. It's not perfect, but it's better. It's very thin. The consistency is very thin, but it has it's just pigment. So it's not gonna change the formula of your foundation or make it any different or separate, which is great. So I don't know, if you are a really pale girl and you're having trouble with foundations matching you, I got this off Amazon, so easy. The next thing I've been loving is something that actually came in my October BoxyCharm and it's this Temp2 Shimmering Bronze Liquid Bronzer. Temp2 is like an airbrush system makeup thingy, but you can use it with beauty blenders, your fingers, a brush, and that's what I've been using and I love it. It blends out so well. It's so watery and liquidy that it just is very seamless into the skin. It says shimmering bronzer, but it's not very shimmery. It has like the tiniest little reflective little pearls inside, but it's not like, oh, go disco ball, what's going on? So for my skin tone, this actually looks really, really nicely. I was scared it's gonna look a little bit too orange and too bronzy, but no, I was wrong. I love it, it's amazing, and it makes it very, very easy to liquid bronze contour. I'm really bad at it, so. This is kind of foolproof. The next thing I'm going to talk about is something I actually rediscovered in my collection recently and I'm really, really glad I did. It's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder in 1. And it's this little container. I got this a long time ago, way before I tried the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder. I thought that this is what everybody was talking about, but it wasn't. And I was like, oh, okay. So then I finally got the Loose Setting Powder and I kind of put this on the back burner and kind of forgot about it because I was using that so much. But I didn't realize how amazing this actually is. The consistency of it is a lot different. It's, oh God, that is gonna make a mess. Um, I think I had this upside down or something. The powder is like incredibly fine. Like it's so soft and fine and it has little flecks of, I wanna say like pearl, like a shimmer to it, but not like, oh my God, disco ball. It's so subtle. And I love setting underneath my eyes with this. It's amazing. It makes it so smooth and soft. I feel like the other powder, the loose setting powder, sometimes can look, you know, drying if you bake with it too much. And I don't really like to bake. I just kind of like to set really quickly. But I really, really like this. I, I'm glad I found this again. It's like a full jar of it, so I'm like really happy. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna talk about is an eyeshadow palette. I haven't had this for the entire month of October, but for as long as I've had it, I've absolutely been loving it and using it almost every single day, and that is the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. And this is my first Mega Pro palette from Lorac, but I do have two other palettes from them that I love. I think Lorac shadows are freaking amazing. This is what it looks like inside. It's just literally neutral wonderland. It's like every color you would ever need in life, basically. Um, I don't know, I've been using the heck out of this. I've been using like this section a lot. I'm wearing all these like mauve plummy tones on my eyes today. I just really like this. There's like every single color that you would ever need in here. There's like mattes and shimmers. It's beautiful, I really like it. That's all I have to say about it. Now I'm going to move on to lip products and the very first product I'm going to talk about is what I'm actually wearing on my lips now. It's from the Colourpop and Hello Kitty collection. This is a ultra satin lip, which I love the satin lips. And this is in the colour Tiny Chum. It's a really pretty muted, mauve soft, pastel -y pink shade. And I really, really like this. Super wearable. It's a Jess colour. Of course, I'm attracted to this colour. Duh. But I love this colour so much. The one thing about this colour is... It stains like crazy. If I took this off of my lips, it would probably be like bright fuchsia. I'm not even joking. Um, I'm not sure why exactly it stains as much. If you guys ever tried the Dopey Ultra Satin Lip, which is a little bit more purpley than this one, that also leaves my lips like super fuchsia stained too. So I think it's like maybe the pigment that they use in like purpley mauvey shades. I don't know. I don't know the science, but I really like it. It feels amazing on the lips. I love the satins and the colors like bomb.com. So I could deal with a little bit of staining, you know. <sighs> the next lip product I'm gonna talk about it is also from ColourPop. I feel like I've spoken about this before. I cannot remember, but you know what? I'm gonna talk about it again because I really, really like it. This is the Lippy Stick and a Matte X Formula. And this is the color Cami. I don't know why I'm talking like this. 
But anyways, this color is Cami. I love it. It's an amazing, just beautiful mauve shade. I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. That is what it looks like. I love the formula. I love the color. Very easy to wear. Very comfortable on the lips. And it's not like a liquid lipstick where you feel like you're going to get butthole mouth and it's too dry to remove and to reapply. This is a really matte finish, but if you want to take it off, you can take it off. But it also lasts a really long time too. Like I had Korean barbecue with this thing on and um, you know Korean barbecue is like pretty oily. And I just had to reapply in the center a little bit. Everything else was like... In mint condition um but yeah this is a really good product i really like this color it's one of my favorites from the ColourPop lip world so yeah that is cami and let's move on to the very last product and that is by jouet this is their newest holiday lip cream which i think as i'm sitting down it's halloween it comes out november 1st or 2nd one of those days i will put it somewhere here but it will be out probably by the time this video goes up it will be available this is in winter rose and it's a beautiful soft rose shade. You know I'm attracted to these colors. I can't stop. Even if I feel like I have a hundred of the same colors, it's never the same. You know, you know? So that is what it looks like right there. It's very, very pretty. It's very soft. It's like a very wearable pink nude for me. I can't go too light because sometimes it doesn't look good on me, but this color looks great and I really, really like it. And you guys know I love the Jouer formula, so... Yeah, those were all the lip stuff, and that's all the makeup pretty much. I'm going to move on to accessories because I love accessories very, very, very much, and a lot of you guys are always asking me, like, what are these chokers you're wearing? Where is this from? Where is that from? So I'm going to share them with you guys. So the first accessories I'm going to talk about are from Key Australia and Desi Perkins. These are the high key sunglasses. I've had the gold ones for a while, and I recently got the black ones, and the black ones are, like, my new favorites. But this is what the gold ones look like. They're just really dramatic and bold. And they really make a statement, but they make you look cool. You can be absolutely wearing, like, sweatpants and a sweatshirt. But if you have these on, you just look so glamorous, like, instantly. I love the black ones. They're my new favorites. I think they look so cool. Feel super sassy in them. So... Yeah, those are my first accessories I've been loving. Now I'm going to talk about some chokers. If you guys know me, you guys know I wear chokers a lot. I really, really love them, and they're just really fun, and there's like a bunch of different styles, and they're really, really in right now, so that's great, so you can find them everywhere. But a few places I get them from, you guys always ask me questions, so I'm going to show you guys a few of my chokers and tell you where they're from, so you guys know. So I have a lot. And they're all my favorites, but the point of this is basically just to show you guys where I get them from. Got it? Good. So the first chokers I'm going to talk about are the one I'm wearing and this one right here. I love these so much. These are both from singlemommafia.com. I'll put it right here. Um, this one is kind of like a faux brown leather choker. It's really, really cute. I have a lot of black, but I don't have a lot of brown chokers, so this one goes really well with like brown toned things. And this one I wear a lot. This is like a mesh black choker. Love this. This goes with everything. I get a lot of compliments on this one, so... That one is that one. Let's move on. Next up, we have these two. These are both from BubbleBar.com, and this one is just like this hard, really good quality metal um, choker, and it kind of opens enough for you to get it around your neck. I think it looks really cool, and when you wear it kind of seamlessly around your neck, it's like very classy and edgy at the same time, or you can wear it where these like little opening meets in the front. That's really cute too. And then there's this one right here. This one is so cute. It has three different styles. This has like the gold thing going through the velvet black, the gold thing, the gold chain. This one has a very thin, dainty gold chain. And then you have the cute little corset bow in the front. And together they make a really cute choker. And I wear this one a lot as well. In fact, I wore it yesterday as part of my Halloween costume. Last but not least, the main place I get my chokers is Forever 21. They are so affordable and they have so many different styles. So probably like 90% of my collection is literally Forever 21. I'll show you a few of my favorites. Um, there is this one right here. It's a rose gold metallic choker. It looks just like the one I'm wearing, but in a rose gold metallic. They have silver, they have gold. These are really cool and it looks cool on and it catches the light. And then there's this one right here. It's a black velvet choker with a little pearl dangling. This actually came in a set with a pearl choker as well. So wearing those together is really cute, but I love this one because it's very simple and classic. And then there's this one that's really, really different. It's kind of like this sparkly 
brown, soft, suede, leathery feeling thing with this like gold hoop in the front. I don't know, I just think it's really cool. I actually haven't worn this one yet, but it's so cool. And again, I don't have a lot of brown ones, so this one and this one are like my only brown colors currently. And lastly, one of my newest ones is this one right here. I freaking love this. I'm obsessed with this one. I got so many questions on my Instagram post when I was wearing this, where it's from. It looks like a tattoo. It just like looks beautiful around the neck like I don't know I just really like this again forever 21 and these are all like ranging from like three dollars to six dollars and you can't ask for anything better than that so this sums up my October favorites I hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below some things you guys have been loving because I love to read what other people like and sometimes I like to try new things out so let me know in the comments and as usual don't forget to follow me on Instagram makeup by Jesse don't forget to follow me on snapchat Jesse Jet I'm always posting random things it's my life sometimes makeup mostly food you know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys it's great it's cute <laughs> whoa seriously <laughs> Thank you. Hallo.